Welcome, you're probably watching this, hey, this is the guy from TikTok, and you wanna learn more about me. Or you actually just read the title and wanna see, oh my God, how did he get verified so early? We'll get to that. But if you don't know who I am, go check out my TikToks, would appreciate it. Let's get into the Q&A. This is a Q&A, this is not just talking about verification. Get clickbaited. Gotcha, bitch. No, but if you don't want to get clickbaited, I'll I'll put a snippet where exactly the question to your answer is. So don't you worry. I'll I'll mention that in the video. Just look. Don't worry. I'll be answering the basic questions that I get all the time from my TikToks, which is where do you live? It's where do you live? All the time I get on my comments. Where do I live? Because I speak English in my videos. I live in American style house. But guess what? I live in Croatia. Have I lived in America? No. Have I lived in Australia? No. Do I have relatives there? Have I been going there? Yes. I've been living here my entire life in Croatia. People on my page get really confused into where I am. They all think I'm from America. Every time I meet a guy and like, oh, you're the guy from TikTok. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I thought you were from America. Yeah, I get that a lot, but no, I'm, I'm from Croatia. So I hope that answers your question. But the next question really irritates me, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna read it. And this is not just one, this is maybe hundreds a day that I get. If you're from Croatia, why don't you speak Croatian in your video? Now that's that's a nicely put question. I usually get, hey, you're Croatian, speak Croatian. Why aren't you proud of being a Croatian? Why aren't you blah, blah, blah. All right, the short answer to your question, guys, is because I can. Simple as that, I can. I can speak English if I want to. And usually that works. The question is answered to every pe a person except Croatians and Balkan people. I'm sorry, I love Balkan people and Croatian people, but you guys are very ignorant when it comes to our language because Croatian is my language as well. Look, for some reason you guys think I'm not proud of being Croatian just because I speak English. Now let me let me put it in a term where you guys can understand. Swedish people do not attack PewDiePie for speaking English. Kwebelkop, you know, his fans don't attack him for not speaking Dutch. And there's much more YouTubers that are not American, Australian, or Eng or British that speak English in their video. See, all right, I'll I'll, I'll put this I'll put the bigger picture one last time because I answered this questions hundreds of time all right I speak English at home. It's easier for me. So my mom's from Australia, my dad's from America, but my heritage is Croatian. So my grandparents are all Croatian that moved out. And then my parents came back because of the war and boom, stayed and here I am. But I speak English at home. It's easier for me. So I speak English because it's easier. But even if it wasn't, like I can speak English because I can. I am proud of being a Croatian. I literally have it in my description. I have, I'm Croatian in my description. All of my Balkan videos, I'm literally promoting Balkans through my videos. I have millions of views promoting Croatian. I'm proud of being a Croatian. Yes, don't worry. But the question you guys all been waiting for, how did I get verified? How? And the title says how I got verified at 20k. You, you go to my page and oh, this guy has a million. This guy's full of bullshit. No, I actually did get verified at 20k. Let me explain how I did it. Did I pay for it? All of you guys say, oh, you paid for the very, no, no, I did not. Did I ask for it? Nope, I did not. How did you do it then? How did I? How did I do it? The simple question is Musical.ly. You guys know what Musical.ly is? If you guys don't know what Musical.ly is, it was TikTok in 2016. So in 2016, TikTok uh, was Musical.ly. So Musical.ly turned into TikTok. I've been on TikTok since Musical.ly day. And I've been featured with my comedy videos for some reason all over the For You, for you page. But it wasn't For You page, it was Feature Me. It was the Feature Me page. And I got featured maybe 15 times. And they gave me a badge. We had a crown. They gave me a badge first. I was named Comedian. And then after the badge, I got a crown. We didn't get verified badges on Musical.ly, we got crowned. So crowned people are the ones that are like verified, but they're, they don't have a tick, they have a crown. And I had a crown at 20K just because of my featured videos and I was a well-known Musical.ly guy on in Croatia and I got a crown. So that crown, when Musical.ly turned into TikTok, converted into a verification. So the crown, verification. And it stayed. And when it stayed, I had 20,000 followers on, t on TikTok with a verification badge. And people were confused, like, how oh, did you pay for it 100%? No, I didn't pay for it. I just got it. I got it. So, ha ha, bitches. You can't get it. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can get it, but you, you, it's much harder now than, than it was in Musical.ly Day. Maybe go back in time and, and join Musical.ly. That would be fun. Uh, second question, which might interest you. How much have you earned from TikTok? How much have I earned from TikTok? Drum rolls, please. Zero. 
Zero. I live in Croatia. TikTok creator fund does not exist. Zero. TikTok pays me zero money for a million followers and for 10 million views per month. Zero. I got I get nothing. Zilch. Nothing. Am I frustrated? A little bit, but do I care? A little bit, but not, not that much. It's all it's alright. I, I get sponsored sometimes, so that is cool. Very, very good. But TikTok, come on, man. Put put monetization in your videos. Please, please. For Croatia. We need Croatian creator fund. Right now. Okay. Uh the next question. Wait, you're a photographer. Yes. I'm a photographer. People don't know that because in 2017, 2018, I made TikTok videos about photography and they blew out, like I got 50,000. So from 20,000 went to 50,000. So I'm getting about 30,000 uh, people, which was cool and all. I was a photographer, travel photographer. So I was traveling the world, photographing. Very, very cool. Next thing you know it, I'm a Bal Balkan comedian. Boom and gone. My photography has gone, but people don't understand. Actually, I am a photographer. I know my stuff. I have a Sony A7, I have a Sony A7 II which is a pretty okay camera. It's okay. It's not amazing, but it will do. So if you want to get yourself a semi-professional camera, that's a good camera. Um, how old am I? If I shave my beard, I'm 15. If I grow my beard, I am 27. What, what actually, how old am I actually? I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. So that's, that's what I am. Is social, okay. And the next question, the last, is social media your full-time job? No. Do I earn enough from it? Definitely not. Especially I think because I am the region where I live, uh, I'm not concentrating enough on social media but also I don't have a proper job yet so social media is kind of my job but not my full-time job I'm at uni I'm finishing uni I still have either four or two more years depending on what I want to finish I have four more years of uni and then I start into the work job so if in four years social media pays out then great if it doesn't yeah we got you have this video if you're watching this in four years social media is not my job I don't I don't know what to do then man then then I, I quit I quit I quit